We spend way too much money on buying some stuff. It's not even new. It's really old stuff. Why don't you watch us open this stuff? We'll be sad if this is just broken old stuff. Oh no. Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today, I mean, yeah, it's, it's fairly obviously an unboxing. So, uh, well, let's just get it open. Okay, looks like it's just a couple of boxes this time. Again, I've got no collection. Oh, slightly through there with the... Uh, uh, where are we? Here we are. Let's slightly through the knife. Uh, I'm sure that's fine. Got some bubble wrap in between, so. Uh, Alright, let's quickly get this open. Ah, okay, so this is um, the MZ Laser Battle card battle system. So this is another one of those kind of Barco Battler style things, and because we'd. You can get this open. Oh, there we go. Because I've already done a few Barco Battle uh, style things, I figured I'd uh, try this out. Interesting. Ah, okay, there are a few things in this box then. So straight away we can see there's... Ah, interesting. So that's uh, a program called Disc Hacker. Now, there's two versions of this disc. There's one that you can just effectively well okay first of all it lets you copy FGS discs and the main reason I do that is because I have a couple of games that are marked as being certain games like Zelda but actually aren't they've been overwritten so I'm hoping I can put those games back on the disc but there's two versions of this there's one that requires extra hardware and one that doesn't and I don't know which one this is I guess we'll find out ah. okay so this is the Joy Radar now <laughs> an, an amazing name definitely uh, Oh, I didn't realise it was made by Howe Laboratories. Interesting. But anyway, yeah. So, yeah, this is the Joy Radar, which is a, uh, a nondescript little box with uh, two cables, an aerial lead and a power cable coming off it, and an aerial. So what is this? Well, it was designed for the Famicom, and the idea is that you could basically have remote video. So it's effectively just a an RF transmitter. It seemed like an interesting device. I thought I'd take a look. All right, so we've got a bunch of Hue cards. Now there's quite a few duplicates here, but these were like, they were 97 pence, so I thought I might as well go for them. Uh, I've got that, that's Racing Damashi. I've got Motor Rotor. I don't have that version of Final Lap. Yes, I do, it's just a really bad thing. But I don't have that version of F1 Dream. So there's, yeah, <laughs> maybe one game I don't have in there. But, you know, 97 pence for four few cards. You can't really go wrong with that. I've got no idea if this works, but it's a PS Vita. Which is marked as not working, but also marked as they didn't have a power supply to test it. Which might be true. They've proven fairly reliable on the Japanese auction, so maybe. So... This was £9.87. <laughs> if it works, that's a bargain. If it doesn't work, well, it's spare parts at least. Or maybe I can get it working. The buttons all feel pretty good. The joysticks are, are loose. So, hey, let's be hopeful. Maybe it will. Do these just power up using... I've never owned a Vita. I've got a PSP, but never a Vita. Do these just power up using... No card, obviously. There's a few marks on it. Do they power up using micro USB? Because... Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. So I think that's that's it. Yes, that's definitely it. A small haul of some interesting stuff. Just put the main interesting thing there. Well that's not the main interesting thing. That's pretty interesting and you know what? Other than the Hue cards which well I love them. <laughs> Everything was pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. 
If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please subscribe and maybe tell some people about us. And if you didn't like the video or you have some comments to make, then please leave it in the messages below. See you next time.